Jen here from Egan and Substance of Tempe Scented Fragrance Old Spot. I have a mess in my container here. Give me just a second to get this in the trash. Um, I just got done making some rainbow cupcakes scented in monkey farts for um, a special customer of mine. Uh, she uh, loves monkey farts. So, you know, I don't never mind to help. Especially if it's a, cus uh, it's a repeat customer, you know, and they, they do order. So this scent is suit and tie, and um, oh goodness, I need to measure out my cream. Just a second. and add that in there. to measure my cream. I've not measured out my fragrance. This is a men's scent, if I did not say that. Suit and tie. And, um, I have not made it since I did the tester for it. And it smells so good. Oh, it's, it's totally man. So, wanted to make it to offer to sell. My boys are having a blast at whatever they're doing. Now, I want most of this to be white. I'm not doing like your, you know, make big special soap with uh, a suit and a tie, you know, that you can do. Um, but I am. going to make this soap have gold and like a chocolate color. Sort of sophisticated, I guess you could say. I just had to rinse out these containers. So this one's going to be white. Or an off-white, you know. Shooting for a white color. See, that's good. Doesn't have to be like, you know, stark white. Had a, um, I don't want to say a sale because it wasn't a sale, uh, but I listed a bunch of soaps 
Friday on my website. It's now Monday. And um, it went really good. I sold out of just about all of my test soaps that I do, you know, because I do sell my test soaps that I make. And about all of them are gone. I think I have two bars left of one. And I think that's it. Um, I have. I do still have bars of my honeysuckle. The honeysuckle's selling pretty fast. Um, I don't have many of it. Um, my. Let's see. I'm taking all of these out because this is a slow moving fragrance. I got just a minute to work. So, we're going to do gold in one. And I'm actually going to put extra because I want it to shimmer. And then this is a chocolate color. And then I'm thinking about on the top, I'll go ahead and get it ready. I think I'm going to do a, um, a gold and a chocolate mica drizzle. So these are really easy to do. Just need a little bit of your oil. That you, I always use an oil that I always use in my recipe. That way I don't have to change nothing on my label. You know, and then add some of your mica in there. Let me get my little buzzer. Where's he at? Where's he at? And, oh, there it is. Let's start on the lighter color first. Just to mix it. You don't want a big poof of air. Yeah. I still don't know how to cut my scissors. We'll teach you. Hey, back up. There's soap right there. Mom, Mommy, I know it gives me hiccups. It gives you the hiccups? Yeah, because he's dumping on my back and then I was like, Ugh. So now you have the hiccups from laughing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my children. As you can see. Just give these a stir, kind of knock down some of the bubbles, make sure it's all incorporated well. Ooh, that's pretty. I hope it comes through. It's kind of hard. Um, to get the shimmer to come through the end product um, in soap, it's 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 doable. I mean, you could do it. It's just not easy. That's a gorgeous color too. Get our mold. These are our two pound molds that we have on Be Scented. Euros, if you order it, will say BeScented.com on it. Mine does not. Because mine are the tester molds from when we did this test round. 
I'm just going for an elegant looking soap, so I'm going to do a drop swirl. Um, I would have done bigger batches, but I had actually some of uh, the two pound recipes mixed up. So, you know. Mommy! Yeah? I think we need to wash the toilet because we'll look. Huh? You need to wash the don't mess with my tree. I just watered it last night. Well, no one did it. Where did you get it? It was just, it was just watering it. No one pulled it off. Well, don't pull on it. I'm afraid you'll pull it off. And then there's a big mess like last time. Yeah, and I would be very upset. That's my grandmother's flower. So please don't pull on it. Your mommy's mommy's flower. Yeah, and it's not your mommy's flower. My mommy's mommy. Grandmother. It was hers. Your great grandmother, and she's she's been passed away a long, long time. She passed away before mommy was even born. Is that hold on? Is that where my mom be? Was a big. Was that when Mama B was a grown up? No, Mama B was still a teenager when her mommy passed away. Well, did she, did she, did she, was she all alone or did she find our mommy? No, she was all alone, Austin. You only have one mommy. No. Well, it's your mommy was it pregnant, you have a baby. Away. Well, you can have another mommy if they marry your daddy, I guess. <coughs> and but mommy. So you hold on. Hold on. I'm listening. When you marry daddy, I'm, hold on. When did you hold on? When you, when you marry daddy, is that when you met daddy? No, mommy knew daddy for seven years before we got married. We dated that long. What? We dated for seven years before we got married. Hold on, when you got dated, um, that when you got, when you, when, that when you met daddy? No, we, I met daddy in high school. We started dating in high school. We, we started dating in 2001. We graduated in 2002. Um, hold on. Yeah. When you were little, what was your what was your your mom's name? I didn't have a mom, honey. A mama? No, I didn't have one. They all passed away before mommy was born. A mama. A mama. Well, mama. Well, how did? My mom got passed. I did my mom and my mom got passed away. Honey, I didn't know my mom and, and papa until after I met daddy. Did, did daddy tell you about them? No. Well, how did you know? I didn't know them. Well, did I just take you there? I met them after I met daddy. Well, did... Did you wonder who it was and you just wanted to dance them? I love you. No, I'm not. You, you do not touch my body. You'll scratch the paint off it. Oh, I cut it off it. I cut it off it. Oh, do they think they found this in the junkyard? I, 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 I don't remember where Aunt Tisha found that bicycle. I, I think they found it in the junkyard. 
they found it in the junkyard. I thought they I might have. Any part they find, find in the junkyard, it's useless. Hold on, do you have to pay for it? If you mommy, want it, mommy, mommy. No. I got what? this Hold on. I have to pay for it. I got this my Do I pay for I stuff out in the junkyard? Do you pay for stuff out in the junkyard? No. I take it out. Well, it's just there for the taking if you go there. All right, guys, bring you back for the cutting. I'll give you a close up of my top. Hold on, do you know where the top yard is? Hey, guys, we're back to cut our suit and tie. I love the drizzle on top. Thought I would show you guys me unmolding sticks every now and then to a spot. But these soaps are not 24 hours old. Come on. There we go. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Nothing a little smoothing out won't take care of. Alright. Let me go get my cutter. Make sure it's nice and clean, even though I, it sits in the same spot. I always like to wipe it down. This rag paper towel that I'm wiping it down with has some rubbing alcohol on it. So now let's get you guys situated. Put soap up there. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. That looks good. Yeah. Tighten this around a couple of times. Ooh, yay. Gorgeous. And you can see the glitter in that gold. Let's see if we can get that to focus. Look at that. It's beautiful. I'm going to open this window here. I'm very happy with how this soap turned out. Look at that. And you can see the swirl on top. This is a fantastic example of a drop swirl. In this one it smells really good too. Bye. 
Oh, that's awesome looking. Those little, I like it. That is just so neat. I'm always pleasantly surprised at um, the designs and things that you get. I forgot that this mold is a little bit bigger and I can cut an end piece off of each side. Here is our samples. So I get four out of this two pound mold, which is great because I'm always low on samples. So thank you all for watching and I'll catch you on my next video.